In this guide, we will focus on the topic of how to build a stockpile for long-term food storage. We'll discuss the benefits of food stockpiling, how to get started, what foods to stockpile, and best practices for long-term storage. Part 1, Why Build a Stockpile? Before we dive into how to build a stockpile, it's important to understand why it's necessary. A stockpile of food and supplies can be a vital resource during times of crisis, such as a natural disaster or economic collapse. Here are some reasons why building a stockpile is essential. Emergencies. In the event of a natural disaster or other emergency, stores may be closed, and supplies may be limited or unavailable. Having a stockpile of food and supplies can help you and your family survive until help arrives. Economic instability. During times of economic instability, the cost of food and supplies can skyrocket, making it difficult for many families to afford basic necessities. Building a stockpile can help you avoid paying high prices during such times. Food shortages. Food shortages can occur due to crop failures, transportation disruptions, or other factors. A stockpile can help you avoid going hungry during these times. Part 2. Getting started. Now that we understand the benefits of stockpiling, let's look at how to get started. Here are some steps you can take to build a stockpile. Assess your needs. Before you begin stockpiling, Consider how much food and supplies your family needs to survive for a given period. Depending on your location, you may need to prepare for a few days or weeks or even several months. It's essential to have a clear idea of your needs before you start stockpiling. Determine your budget. Building a stockpile can be expensive, so it's essential to set a budget and stick to it. Start small and gradually increase your stockpile as your budget allows. Choose a storage location. The location where you store your stockpile is crucial. It should be cool, dry, and dark, with a constant temperature. A basement or pantry can be an ideal location. Part 3. What foods to stockpile? When building a stockpile, it's important to focus on non-perishable foods that have a long shelf life. Here are some foods that are ideal for long-term storage. Canned goods. Canned goods are one of the most popular items for stockpiling. They have a long shelf life and are available in a wide variety of options, including vegetables, fruits, and meats. Dried goods, dried goods, such as beans, rice, pasta, and oatmeal, are also ideal for long-term storage. They can last for several years if stored correctly. Freeze-dried foods, freeze-dried foods are lightweight and have a long shelf life. They are also easy to prepare and can provide a variety of options for your stockpile. Powdered milk, powdered milk is a great source of protein and calcium and can be stored for several years. Part 4, Best Practices for Long-Term Storage once you've chosen the foods to stockpile, it's essential to store them correctly. Here are some best practices for long-term storage. Use proper containers, store food in airtight containers, such as mason jars, mylar bags, or food-grade plastic buckets. Keep food cool, store food in a cool, dry place to extend its shelf life. Avoid storing food in areas that are prone to temperature fluctuations or humidity. Rotate your stockpile. To ensure that your food doesn't expire, it's essential to rotate your stock. In conclusion, building a stockpile for long-term food storage can be an essential resource during times of crisis, such as natural disasters, economic instability, or food shortages. By assessing your needs, setting a budget, choosing a storage location, and focusing on non-perishable foods with long shelf lives, you can begin building your stockpile. It's also crucial to store your food correctly, using airtight containers in a cool, dry place and rotating your stockpile to ensure that your food doesn't expire. With these tips, you can be well prepared for any emergency that may arise, and have peace of mind knowing that you and your family have enough food and supplies to survive.